Hello and welcome to the Fusu Insiders Podcast, your go-to source for all things Fusu. I am Sam Risku and I'm excited, I'm really excited, happy to be host for today's episode. With me today is... Sule Sadat. Hi Sada, how are you? I'm fine, how are you doing Risku? I'm doing well, I'm doing, I'm doing good. This podcast is, I think it's a special one because like, it's now like, this is, this is Monday, so that's two days to go until our new SS finally, finally, finally makes their way to campus. How, 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 how what's, what's the feeling now? Yeah, uh, I'm excited about them coming. Like, it's really, like, wonderful for them to come. Yeah, just, just make sure, like, the school is actually, like, <laughs> moving forward and no be scam. They can't carry us on inside. But I don't know. It, it's been so long, like, since they've been waiting since admission and everything. Uh, they've waited for, like, up to six months or more. I don't know. I think I heard about them coming that is two months back and they were like, oh, the, the resumption to the campus has been postponed. Yeah, so many postponements and everything. Well, you know, this is the first time this podcast. This is the Fuso Insiders Monday Scoop series. We basically talk about everything that has been going on in Fuso over the past week and what we're expecting for the new week. Fuso is the Federal University of Health Sciences located in Otopo, Benue State. And so basically, right, right now, we're in all in anticipation, like for the newest and I think we will call them the youngest, the freshest sets, freshers, finally. Like the 200 level B will no longer be the babies of the school. We want to be officially like four sets on campus I don't know how we want to handle it especially people are also like talking about worries about like are there actually enough like rooms in hostels are there enough classes that kind of thing like it's just I, I feel like I feel like it's a lot of like confusion first of all like people are wondering like where does someone want to put everybody like, you know? like the school is quite small and considering how and many they are going to come. In fact, just uh, the two sets around, we, we still have clashes between classes. Like, even the physiology and lab they are using is quite small for them. And we are the ones using the other um, lecture hall. I don't know if there will be enough space, but there's a building at the back of the that, school here. That building know. that they've been building for I mean, how many months? Yeah, they completed it like last month, um, but there are no like. Uh, arrangements there, yeah, yeah, but you know, for so now they can do things just in one day. Actually, actually, yeah, they, they finish the outside, but the inside is just waiting for you know, board, chairs, all those things. But we wait and see, especially about hostel. I feel like there's been lots of like talk about hostels, especially because people, I mean, people are, uh, will I say, well, either will I say either scared or anticipating new roommates, that kind of thing. Like they don't know who's going to come into their rooms now. Like your your room is is your room already full? Like do you have all your roommates? Okay, at home? my room my room needs two people because it's uh, we've been told that this three hundred level they are not coming. My roommate is a three hundred level person. She's not coming back, so I'll have like two new roommates, and there are like up to five rooms up at the block B in Ziggy Hostel, and like one or two rooms that need. Um, and one or two persons there. Yeah. Well, for my lord, their space is now, the space is 200 level left. Yeah, so you're, so you're expecting to have a new roommate coming yeah, soon? Yeah, I'm expecting to have a new roommate. <laughs> yeah, do you have any special message you want to send for that? Like, now I want to see. <laughs> Okay, to my future roommate, please. I'm a very nice person. I will, and I would love to, like, live well with you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's me. Everybody just wants, you know, peace at the end of the day yeah. it maybe it's small excitement so. <laughs> oh and just you know making sure that everything still works out and then people have been trying to make arrangements clearing their spaces getting used to that kind of thing and also just like i don't know school is just going to be very different even i think whenever a new set comes into school it's always a different vibe atmosphere yeah, yeah. different atmosphere yeah. there is a new hostel at i think opposite the doctors i heard of it and i've not really gone to that place yet i think there will be space for them to like put the girls because the girls have to stay close to the hostel mm-hmm. yeah the girls are going to be okay the children level the new hundred levels are going to be first break ground in that hostel also the new doctor's extension hostel by the side so they're doing an extension for the hostel they built a ex- extension in like two months i, I don't know if yeah, <laughs> the building is okay <laughs> It's, it's, it's not okay, yeah. What well, they'll come and see, Jack. Uh, rush in the buildings of Fuso, guy. These past few days, oh, they've been doing a lot of rush maintenance, like fixing buildings, fixing rooms, fixing. I don't know why they don't plan ahead. It's just when it's just close by that, that they do their things. Fuso is always like that. It's like every time you expect something like that from Fuso, it feels very Nigerian. Like, it, feels, it feels like the most Nigerian kind of response to anything. Oh, they're coming next week. Oh, yeah, let's start building this thing now. now. Was, um, was it last week? Yeah. Last week they brought um, new beds, new tables, and then um, new bunks. In our doctor's hotel, okay, like basically, doctor's hotel is like, I think us and Ziggy are the only ones that have levels, right? Like we have like up and down. 
basically had to break down most of our railings because the railings had been failing for a long time and it was getting quite unsafe. So they, they broke it down in like, th- in like three days and brought, brought new railings and so that it's just been a lot of things that just to show, okay, truly, truly, I think they're finally actually ready for the new guys. And I feel like you guys should not be so worried that this time they will postpone again. I know some people are saying that oh, well, until that day, that day, let them hear that people have actually entered before, before they will start. So I think that last time I actually disappointed a lot of people. That last time that they postponed this. And when we were coming for our sets, it happened like that. We stayed at home for like after our screening, we stayed up at home of like up to six That's months. That's the set, right? Yeah, two hundred level eight sets, yes. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what we're, we're expecting you guys, we hope, we hope you guys don't expect too much. <laughs> you guys have seen the place in screening now. You know what? You know how this place is. But again, keep your hearts, keep your hearts open. We're, we're ready to welcome you guys, and we're looking forward to having the yeah. newest guys on the campus. World class university. The world class university. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> first federal and and. and specialized university in Nigeria, right? Yeah, the first. Oh, yeah. Well, that, that's, that's what they are proud of at least. Mm. So, we we'll, we'll look, we'll look forward to it. And for the 200 level students who you have kept your things, we must have, we've heard that the school have been telling them that they should come and pack their things out. Yeah. Like, um, there's this 300 level in my hostel and uh, they had to like break into her room and... They broke down their rooms? Yeah, uh, they broke into their rooms and kept things. I don't know, I don't know. And she left her stuff. So it's really, really annoying. Like, I don't know, they would have called them also. And in fact, I remember when I was in her room and she was packing, she had to like wait for like a week. Before and to like get an update from Fuso on what to do if they are coming back or they are going to stay closer mm-hmm. to the teaching hospital and stuff like that, and they not even get after going home. That was when they were like, Okay, they'll not be coming back, and the rest. Well, here in the room, the room was saying that they're going to start breaking down doors in doctors' was today or tomorrow, last Monday or Tuesday. So, yeah, they're going to take their things so. oh, well, actually, 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 oh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know, man. Turn it up, guys. Maybe, maybe you guys should come and start. I don't know, securing your, securing your bags and stuff, but. It's well, sure. I think the rumors again, because everything in this school is rumors for some reason. Mm-hmm. They're saying that they, they made another hostel available for the 300 level students because you know they're preparing for MB. So, and that, that, they that, still have a lot to finish in the school, so they have to still stay close by. Does the school have bus? Does the school have transport facilities to be bringing them from town for their particles? Yeah. We don't know all these things, but well, Fuso will find a way. Who one gives you? Who one gives you then an update about how things are going in this school? You just hear and it happens. And that's what Fuso said as I hear to give you the rumors, and so you yeah. can know which rumors are trending, and then when the rumors now become real, we'll tell you which ones have become real. Yeah. Yes, you guys see the Fuso said that now. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's basically it, guys. We'll see you soon. And you know, guys, tickets are coming soon too now. Even the reception date is October now. Yeah, October. It's certainly not so far away. The already that just started has already... Just mm, spend up to a month in, and at home. Yeah, that's the small chilling time. I know some of them have been jacking for their reason, but that's the small chilling time they've had. Maybe some of them might come back, have to come back early just to secure their stuff. Okay. Um, for some of you guys that are coming from very far away, the, I don't know, sir. You stay in Otuko, right? Yeah, so I you... stay in Otuko. <laughs> it's really not far. It's from my home to school, it's not, it's not more than 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like you guys are lucky. So I'm here to represent all of us that have to spend hours on the right, on the right to, on the right from home to school. What can you do? Maybe, I don't know. So, so different people have different methods of like, what do you use to occupy time? But I feel like my, my first method when I was coming, I was sleep, I was sleep the way through. I was just, I was enter the bus, find somewhere that like you can let's say you're coming home like trust then i'm just like sleep and, and really like fast travel to like come here but some people have you know music get yeah. some snacks Video. my last trip i came with someone and we both of us just watching movie together on the old wave like from from abuja up to here and it was, it was really nice too you, you, you don't even know when the time is flying and then like five hours right yeah, like two movies. It has to be, it has to be two movies. So we watched, the, we watched the first one, and I watched this part two of it, and then the ride was still not over. But we also hope for good roads. We also, I think people also like hope people, you guys, no accidents. We don't hear any bad news for people that are coming on the road on their way here. So, yeah, just watch movies, read books, you know, sleep if you can. We pray for Johnny Messi, so all of you come in. Yeah, Johnny Messi, so all the way, all the way. Um, today is the public holiday, right? Celebration, Eid Malu celebration. Eid Mubarak to all of the Muslims out there. Eid Mubarak to all of you celebrating. Yeah. Um, so there are not that many like Muslim students in Fusu right now. Like, can you tell me like what your experience has been like or how it feels basically being one of the few Muslim students like mm, on campus? The experience has not been like 
two different and considering that I went to a Christian school that is Catholic to be precise. A Christian yes. secondary school, yes. <laughs> and also an a Catholic and um, primary school. So I've always I've, I've always been used to being the only Muslim in my class. And you know it's a federal school, there's no much of religion here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so before we go further, this episode has actually been sponsored by one of the businesses and enterprises around Fuso. This episode is sponsored by Elios Enterprises, a shoe brand and making services they Makes it for male and female slides. They make up with shoes and sandals of high quality materials, handmade, exquisite craftsmanship, which are very comfortable and durable. And Nigerian made. So just experience the rich culture and craftsmanship of Nigeria with every step that you make. They are, they are meant to allow you to maintain your steeds, you know, provide comfort, durability. Elios Enterprises. You can contact them at 09127. 899-817 That's Elios Enterprises for your male and female size copper shoes sandals You can call 091 Thank you Elios Enterprises for sponsoring this episode Fuso Insiders appreciates you guys and we are looking forward to seeing many people with wonderful crafted shoes all over campus In Last week was World Society Prevention Day that was 12th of September 10th of September sorry yeah, and suicide are one of the leading causes of death worldwide You should always check up on people around you because you never know even how, hey, how are you can go a long way and always listen to people without judgment it goes a long way and it helps. Yeah, it does actually. Checking up with people is something that, you know, it can be very slight. You can just, even just a call or a text message. But I don't know, there's just, there's just something about knowing that somebody is thinking of you that makes it, that makes, that just brightens things up. Doesn't, doesn't it like, like just, yeah. And as the saying goes, a problem shared is a problem half solved. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Try to communicate about your problems to people around you. Don't suffer in silence. But, you know, it's people that you trust, actually, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I think it's one of the make sure that you have people around you that you can be, like, that, you know, truly supports you, that you can trust and open up to them, you know. So that, because suicide, is, suicide is not a pleasant thing. Depression is not something funny. It's not something fun to go through alone. So, yeah. I think that's basically a wrap for this, this week's episode. Um, thank you very much, Sada, for being on the podcast. Thank you, Samuel. Okay, now. So, on to all our listeners, thank you very much for listening to us until the end of the episode. For the new assets, the aspirants, we're looking forward to seeing you guys. For all those who are hoping to gain admission for the next, like, in future, <laughs> your time will come. And for the current level students, I'm going to now come carry your things and make for some no control. We yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, now thank you guys so much. It's been a wonderful time. Thank Sarah. you guys for listening. Yeah. Tune in to Fuso Insiders podcast available on YouTube and YouTube, Spotify, Spotify yeah. Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get pod- anywhere that they take their podcast, the Fuso Insiders. Always yeah. listen to it anywhere, any, anywhere you are. And also tell your friends too. Like people don't know how to access Fuso Insiders podcast. Like podcasting is not so big. We can just say they can just find it on YouTube, self, or they can find it basically anywhere. Like you can just get, or this can be their first entry into podcast. Podcasting is you listen to podcasts too, right, sir? Yeah, I listen to also podcasts too. Yeah, it, it's 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 quite. There are many interesting ones out there too. You can find Fuso Insiders at all on all social media platforms at Fuso Insiders. So from all of us, don't forget to stay curious, stay engaged, stay creative, stay blessed, stay safe, see guys, and I don't know. Bye, bye. guys. Bye.